Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Tower of God episode number 4. Um, in the previous episode, I liked the previous episode a lot because uh, it uh, because of that uh, test and uh, like that kind of showed what each and every uh, characters, I mean uh, the ma three main characters, uh, what do you call that, personality is, uh, the character came out into the uh, light and uh, that one test was a really crucial uh, thing for Kuhn to get past, I think he probably did not get past his uh, uh, complexes completely but still he was able to kind of overcome it so that was extremely crucial for that and we got to know how each and every character is like uh, uh, what, what is his name? Rak. Rak was like an uh, what do you call it impulsive like uh, uh, proactive kind of guy uh, Kuhn was uh, the brains of the team and uh, he had a little bit of complex but uh, yeah that is uh, he kind of overcame it and uh, Yoru, Yoru was the uh, what do you call it the emotional the emotional thing that uh, the foundation of the team that kind of holds them together so that was kind of like uh, really good I really liked the previous episode because of that so yeah without further ado guys let's get started with episode number four of Tower of God so okay so I'll be giving the timer and the subtitles here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Okay, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. That uh, in this opening, that bird is shown a lot. Like that, uh, I think that's an eagle. I guess might be something symbolic or something really that matters in this story. I don't know. We'll probably see it later on. Must be something symbolic, like. I'm really enjoying this show like this it's barely fourth episode but I can feel that this will be something big if it continues <laughs> okay wait what okay he saw him uh, he saw her yep What? It's not her. Yeah, she didn't say anything like, didn't even greet him. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, he at least admits it. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Well, she can kind of defend herself. Uh... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Fair enough. 
but I think she can handle herself like Okay, let's see who comes. <laughs> Shibizu, okay. His name is Shibizu. Killing Arts. Yes, yes, the Killing Arts. The Almighty Killing Arts, yes. Well, at least he has something like he came up until here. <laughs> okay. Um, you're also lizard kind of. <laughs> okay, Th that's a fair deal. <laughs> No, he just wants chocolate. Okay, will Rahel participate to this? Oh my god, no one came? Okay, here it is. Let's see who it is. Um, two gates opening. So two teams will be participating? Okay, these looks like weak, weak people, and the, they they look strong. We saw the girl previously. Guy, that's a guy. Isn't that a girl? Wait a sec. Oh my god, Mr. Aiza is sleeping. As always. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that that's a good line. Oh my god. Wait, that's a guy like that yellow haired horned crown. Okay, let's go. Oof, his damn. I don't think this guy can do anything. Like, these are one of the strongest. Um, oof, oof. Damn! Wow, his his weapon has a will on its own. Okay. Yeah, that was guy was standing like super inferno punch. Okay. Wow, this guy's like fighting. Properly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like this guy was pretty strong in the Shinsu part. Oh my god, it's two on one. Okay, something happened, I guess. Yeah, heart scam. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> it was shown off screen. <laughs> it was so powerful. <laughs> oh my god. And.
ordinary circumstances yeah we don't know his power like <laughs> yeah that is a guy yeah definitely participants in here okay 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 hmm yeah competition increases Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty she's pretty strong. Okay. Track suit and the swordsman away from the throne. Okay, alright. Okay, he opened his eyes. It's becoming ser serious. And here she he is. Okay. Um please keep concentrating. Um you should not Oof. Okay, that is Shinsu as well. All right. <laughs> okay, she's fine. Huh? Okay, Black March responding. I think her weapon is also like kind of like an like Black March. Well, he gets it the most. I don't think this guy can do anything. Like, Anak is a lot more powerful, I think. Yeah, that's that weapon. Ignition. Okay. Lore. Okay, this guy seems pretty unfazed. So he, seem, he must have something hidden. Okay. And now he's... Anak Jahad. Okay, so he... She is like... Oh yeah, that weapon, uh, that's why she is also from the Jahaz. Okay, okay. Ignition weapons. Um, what is happening? Okay, Black March responding. Oh my god, she's... She's become crazy. Oh my. Okay. Okay, okay. These are like resonating. Oh my god. And things have become kind of the running away. Yeah. Well, you can do anything like this girl is pretty f strong. Well, okay, this is a bonus game. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, and Laure Serena. Okay, her target has changed. Okay. 
Um, no. No. Oh my god. Oh boy. She just blasted the whole door like Oh my god, here it is. Um I think a surprise battle is awaiting here like this is Well um <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh, oh yeah! Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen months series. Ashul Etwar. Okay. Thirteen months. Okay. Not twelve months. Well, she is also a jihad. Green April. Okay, April and March. Black March. Okay, so uh, okay, I'm getting everything like one by one. Is she a jihad double as well? Um, Black March pretty much likes. Yoru, so she won't go. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Okay. I think they're going to be get stopped. Yeah, by the. Yeah. Well, that's understandable because. Okay. Okay. End of crown game. Um Yeah, t this is like Yuri's blade. Why would he? Okay, that's violent. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to sit down and listen to all of that. Okay, who will get the crown now? Like, they're disqualified. So... I think that is also like a princess. I don't know. I think so. Oh my god, this girl is like. <laughs> yeah. Imposter. Okay, so Rahel is with them. Oh, Alright. Yeah. Yeah, he has an unusual bravery. Like, 
his bravery is like kind of off the charts. Okay, that's a good lesson. Oh, all right, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yes, double turtles. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's also like a Shinsui. Uh, Where have I heard that? Okay. Let's see. Who is this? Oh, uh, Rahel's team is still left, isn't it? Or. Oh no, that is Kuhn. Okay. That was pretty easy. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, he wants to play. I'm pretty concerned about Rahel's team, like... Wow, his suitcase! It's pretty handy, like... Um. Okay. Uh, okay. What is happening here? Okay. I, so I think that he'll probably take it at the last moment again <laughs> to just mess with them. <laughs> oh my god. And that amazing battle royale is commencing, but oh, that's a fake. Is that a fake? <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what? Yeah, that is a fake. Fake. <laughs> Okay, that they are. Okay, let's see. What she says. Oh my god. What? Okay. Well, I guess, like, they're fighting for their life here. So. But still, like, Well, one thing I can say is that 
I really did not think I will enjoy this series as much I'm enjoying. Like, this is really unique. Like, I'm really liking this. I mean, uh, yeah, like, uh, I thought that this will be probably a go good anime, a cool, a cool anime, like everything, but, uh, <laughs> like, it exceeded my expectations. And, like, yeah, th this is definitely, uh, like, uh, building up to something really good. And, uh, yeah and uh, yeah okay so about this uh, episode uh, uh, this episode was like uh, not much the main much many things has happened like uh, it was just like them fighting uh, amongst each other and everything and we saw um, I forgot her name that lizard girl um, anyways it was with something a, a uh, I don't know yeah yeah with something with a anyways that uh, lizard girl uh, she is like a princess of jihad like uh, Yuri, so um, like uh, she said that there are 13, uh, 13 uh, such weapons and the uh, March, se uh, no, uh, the month series, like yeah, and her was um, uh, what was it called? Uh, A April, something April, uh, Green April, yeah, Green April, and um, Yoru's uh, the thing Yoru is borrowing from uh, Yuri is Black March, so. Like uh, I guess there are like twelve uh, with a uh, twelve other month's name, but what's the thirteenth? Like, and the number thir thirteen, what is it? We'll get to know that eventually, I guess. And um, another thing I have to talk about is like Yoru has an unusual type of bravery. Like, uh, like I've seen a lot of animes and everything, uh, and whenever like uh, the main character kind of like. Uh, what do it phases off with uh, a villain not even a main villain like a villain who is pre pretty strong uh, or a, a character which is pretty strong uh, there is a, a thing called fear or something like that like uh, uh, we see within the main characters like whichever anime be, be it like uh, they kind of are like wary about their opponent and uh, like uh, do things accordingly but here I can see like Yoru has an unusual type, I, I don't know, unusual type of uh, bravery or is that bravery like he's nonchalant, he, he, he really doesn't give a damn about anything like uh, like his uh, fear motion does not work like I've seen him uh, get into a lot of like uh, messy, uh, not messy but a lot of difficult situations but he, he doesn't flinch it's like uh, he, he's calm and everything like uh, yeah that, that is quite interesting like um, like his uh, unusual type of bravery or recklessness I don't know is really odd and I think this must be because he was underground uh, m most of the time and only uh, person that uh, came into contact with him was uh, Rahel and so I think uh, his emotions are out of whack like uh, like uh, we also see her, his obsession with Rahel, excuse me, with Rahel and everything that uh, Rahel uh, said, he really follows it uh, up to the uh, with each and every word. Like uh, in him, like uh, Rahel was his word. Uh, so everything that Rahel said was true. Everything that uh, he experienced with Rahel was good. Everything. Uh, like uh, all the emotions that he felt with Rahel was the only thing that makes him up and he really does not get uh, most other things like uh, uh, like I don't know if uh, he is pretty strong I guess because he was able to uh, withstand that uh, Shinsu water in the second episode it was it was it was second episode wasn't it yeah and um, that water so he is pretty strong I guess and um, uh, and he he's like a newborn uh, child not a child but his emotions are like a newborn child because uh, the only one that he uh, came into contact with Rahel was Rahel usually a child comes in contact with the world uh, when we are little kids uh, the outside world the external world shapes us our, our personality uh, makes us into uh, the person we are now like uh, there is a uh, quote in a in, in an anime uh, I really liked uh, Grisaya, Grisaya no Kajitsu um, um, it was a fiction novel anyways uh, uh, it said that um, when we are small when we are a kid um, we are like a square 
and uh, the outside world kind of brushes against us and we lose our pointy ends and we become a perfect round. Uh, if the outside uh, uh, external force is a bit stronger or is a bit less, then uh, we uh, kind of become deformed as a human being. Like here it is, he did not get the out uh, external, uh, Yeru did not get the external, uh, what do you call it, influence. Only Rahel influenced him. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm really saying everything as a guess because I think that uh, Yoru did not come into contact with anyone before Rahel, like Rahel was the first one. So I am thinking that uh, she is the main uh, character who kind of influenced him, who kind of uh, make him to the person he is now. So yeah, uh, uh, by the flashbacks all we can see is that uh, Rahel was a really uh, good, uh, like what do you call it, good role model or uh, a guardian. Uh, yeah, you can call her a guardian, um, good role model and a guardian. So um, uh, Yoru, uh, he taught, she taught Yoru good things like uh, you should not uh, betray girls, but um, yeah, you also should not betray guys as well. Like uh, why limiting it to girls only? Anyways, you should not betray anyone, uh, especially. Oh, oh no, he, she said especially girls. Okay, uh, you should not betray anyone, especially girls. Uh, because yeah, if you betray girls, the world turns against you. Yeah, that is a pretty uh, wise advice. And uh, things like these, like this little morals and everything. So um, yeah, he he he. he I think uh, he shaped up to be a pretty good dude, and uh, he has uh, faith in his comrades. Uh, he wants to make friends and everything. So, mm -hmm. but uh, I think the fear factor has not like uh, registered inside him. Either that or like uh, <laughs> he's just uh, he really doesn't give uh, have have any fear. He's extremely uh, what do you call it? Courage uh, not courageous, but uh, yeah, yeah. He he does not feel fear. Either uh, that or this. So uh, yeah, that thing uh, fascinated me about Yoru. Like uh, uh, seeing a character who does not kind of feel fear or get uh, what do you call it shaken up uh, at uh, any kind of danger. Uh, that's quite fascinating and um, uh, yeah and uh, his unusual um, what do you call it uh, obsession with Rahel and uh, we can see here that Rahel is with that other team and um, at the last uh, Rahel kind of said like uh, yeah you can kill him I, I don't know if she really meant that or that was like uh, like she had faith in the other team like yeah even if we try to kill him they won't get killed so she said like yeah you can go kill him like something like that I don't know um, but uh, yeah it, it's kind of shrouded in mystery like what Rahel's main goal is uh, if her goal was to just like climb the tower why the hell did she bother with uh, bother uh, with uh, Yoru like uh, why did she come down and everything why did she spend time with Yoru teach him everything and uh, then suddenly like vanished like we know almost uh, nothing about what happened and everything all the backstories and stuff like they showed a small glimpse of the happenings so i think more will is going to come in the future episodes and um, yeah i'm quite excited like uh, the everything the lore and then world building and all this like uh, anime is extremely fascinating and uh, the characters as well mm, and uh, yeah, uh, the new character, uh, not new character, that lizard girl. I think her name was Ankh or something like that. Anyways, mm, that character is a bit crazy. Like, <laughs> she, when she kind of gets mad, she, 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 yeah, like she just, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Like, uh, it becomes violent and everything. But uh, there must be something uh, uh, like uh, the reason behind. Her, her being like this, like some backstory or something, any anything, like there must be something. And um, yeah, like uh, the, yeah, that was it. That was this episode. Um, let me see if there is anything that I missed saying. Um, uh, just a sec. Oh, I was quite uh, surprised. I, I thought that uh, yellow-haired one-horned uh, person was a girl, like, um, but <laughs> it turned out to be dude. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's not a trap, is it? Uh, is that a trap? Yeah, kind of. Not kind of. Anyways, um, 
and uh, we saw uh, the sleeping guy here and he was kind of powerful but I uh, doubt he is as powerful as the lizard girl but he might uh, he might be uh, what do you call it hiding his powers I don't know anything and uh, Kuhn was pretty powerful as well uh, we saw a glimpse of his power like uh, and his suitcase <laughs> mysterious suitcase the fourth dimension pocket <laughs> Doraemon's pocket <laughs> whichever you put inside kind of goes to the uh, other dimension something like that I guess <laughs> okay um, uh, and um, Black March was responding to the other uh, weapon, which was uh, Green April, I think. Yeah, Green April. And uh, and what else? Mm, yeah, that's it. Uh, that was this episode. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. If you're subs uh, not subscribed or you have. Uh, uh, or you're new to the channel please be sure to do so and comment down below your opinions about this uh, episode anything you want to share and i'll be sure to reply and uh, yeah i'll be back with a new uh, tower of god episode next week uh, yeah next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day